and uh, left track Saturday night, came back Saturday, Sunday morning, same thing, fluid sitting, it just, it leaks when it sits, and figured out what it was, uh, it was the uh, transmission dipstick, um, it was, it's, everything is real tight in this car, um, the bracket that holds the uh, dipstick to the top bell housing bolt, that was bent when I put the uh, transmission in, so I straightened it out, it couldn't, maybe it was still a little bent, and uh, the tube wasn't fully in, but I don't think the dipstick tube was meant to fit in, uh, in a first generation Camaro. Uh, we had to do some bending as the motor and transmission was going back in place. Uh, so that could have cocked the dipstick in the, uh, in the case or pulled it out a little bit. Uh, it's the O-ring type. It's not the um, one where you have the, the rubber grommet that goes in the case and then your dipstick tube goes in. So the solution for that is uh, to put a, uh, I got in here now, um, I had to take the header and stuff off while well, getting at that top bell housing bolt. Anyone who knows and work on these cars, that top bell housing bolt is a bitch. So uh, we decided not to take the bolt out and we just decided to bend on the uh, dipstick tube a little bit until the bracket broke off the tube. And of course it wouldn't come up through and it wouldn't go down through because there's no clearance between the, uh, that big header and the transmission pan or the header and the frame. So, as you see, ended up taking the header off, which is not a big deal in this car. It comes up through pretty, pretty easy, but it's still just a pain in the ass. So I got a, a braided flexible dipstick tube now. Um, this one went in nice and tight. Um, it was... Uh, not real easy because I got dash six braided transmission lines and uh, being tight in the tunnel besides it was kind of tight to uh, they say it's a flexible dipstick tube uh, not it's not real real overly flexible and in, in tight quarters can't make a real tight turn but we uh, we got her in uh, it has uh, this one has two O-rings instead of the other one that only had one. And the O-rings on, when I hauled it out, it came out really easy. And the O-ring on it uh, was kind of loose on the tube. So, not exactly sure what it was, but hopefully this will solve it. Um, so right now we'll just put the uh, the header back on and then the two... The uh, new dipstick didn't come up far enough. Gonna have to build a bracket to screw it to the firewall because we sure don't want the uh, tube to pull out of the transmission because you ain't getting that back in at the racetrack. Um, just for safe, uh, just as a as a second uh, safety thing, I uh, fastened the other end of the tube where it goes in the transmission to a transmission line. Uh, so that'll be more or less a safety, I guess, I guess you could say. Other than that, it was a pretty good weekend. Um, 